Hey folks, welcome back to another flight time video with me Andy. Hope you're all doing well. And today we've got a definitely a pattern that's not uh, for the purist. And it's basically going to be the uh, replaceable squirmy. Uh, we all know how brittle the squirmy material can be. Um, as you can see, you know, it's rubbery material, which I've got a bit of UV tinsel on it. And it, you know, everyone knows as fish this knows that it's really brittle and breaks easy. So this one's going to be one way you can replace the squirmy and not have to uh, change the fly. So we've got a trap line, this is a W633 in a number 10 in the vice. We've got some glow bright floss, doo -doo -doo -doo, glow bright floss in the bobbin. And this is glow bright number 11, so it's fluorescent yellow. We're going to start off, I'm just going to basically do a layer of thread thirst. For some reason that's first with a uh, TH and not an F, but no worries. That's speech for you. Anyway, I'm going to take this back just to get like a layer of thread on there first and then come forward. Now, where's my thing? So, what we're actually going to use, we're actually going to use some Spamflex. So, we need like a, a basically a small loop, and I'm just basically going to measure this small loop. So, I've got a small, tiny little loop there which I'm going to catch in. Make sure that's on the top of the fly. So there we go, got like a small loop on the top there as you can see. And now I'm going to come down around about halfway-ish with this just to make sure it's secure in. I'm just going to trim it off. Grab a piece that I've trimmed off. Then what we're going to do, I actually go to the back of the fly now. Just like that. Do exactly the same, get my small loop. Slightly too big that loop, don't want it bigger than that. Secure that loop in, I'm just making sure now it's on, on top of the uh, fly. Actually, um, the first time I saw this fly tied was by, um, I think it was Alex Harvey, I'm sure it was Alex Harvey on YouTube. Uh, again, another northeast fisherman, very good fisherman, very good fly tire. And, this was a, a cool pattern I thought I'd want to do a video on for everybody. I mean, basically, you're coming up to where you stopped with your front section, just so you know, and trim off. Now I want my thread to be flat, so I'm just now, as you can see on the main camera, just coming in and spinning my bobbin anti-clockwise. And that'll flatten out my thread. And now we can try and get a nice, or as best we can, get a, a smooth body. Hope that's not too bright on the main camera there. As you can see how easy my setup is, I've obviously got my main camera if you're looking on the GoPro. Very, very simple. Nothing crazy about it. And then what we're going to do, not yet, shorten the thread. When we get to the head here, just take a thread wrap underneath. I'm actually going to whip, whip finish just under the bead. Under the bead, just under the uh, spam flex, and that'll do. Come in, trim off your excess. Now, because um, because spam flex is very uh, like uh, perishable when it comes to stuff like varnish, what we need, what we're going to do is I'm going to varnish the body first. I'm just going to grab some varnish, run it around the body. Doesn't need to be crazy neat on there, just need some on there. But we've got a bit too much. There we go, I'll just take that bottom bit off. Now I'm gonna let this uh, let this varnish dry and we'll be back with you in a second. So the fly is now dry, as you can see the varnish is now dry. So we're gonna do the final step for you all. So you've got to get a bobbin threader. And what you're gonna do is I actually do one at a time first. I'll come through the back loop and just place some Squirm me through there and then just pull it through. If I get the stupid squirmy back out and then come through the front hole, 
put the if I can get in there, put the squirmy in, and then pull it through the front. As you can see, it snapped. That's why I do one at a time because sometimes they snap through the bobbin. But uh, you can adjust the length of this, so however you want it. So you can have it that length. And what I do is I want it even both sides, so I trim it off. And there is your adjustable squirmy. Now this is probably more suited for maybe fishing underneath the bung, to be honest. But um, you know, make sure your loops are nice and small, just to make sure it doesn't slip or come off when you're fishing. But definitely one for fishing the indicator if you're not casting crazy distances and you like fishing the squirmies. So uh, there you go, easy peasy. Thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, obviously you can leave a dislike. Up to you. Your choice, but well, thank you very much for watching anyway, and I will see you on the next video.